Yeah, Evangelist Christian Chukukari remains my name. Uh, the founder of Abounding Grace Foundation. We kept on searching for the truth on how to bring solution to African menace called prison system. Um, I travel around the world interviewing people, both old and young, and everyone, black and white, you know, trying to get some information that can help me to be able to confront African governments. Um, I've not really gotten exactly what I want, but I've been having some information, so I'm getting some information about um, how to start showing love to them and get, getting the staffs to be the ones that we get along with the prisoners. That's why you see me having most of the time when I go into crusade in prison, I bring a situation whereby the prisoners, the warders will dance together, enjoy themselves and become friends. Then before the message comes, their heart will be tilled first, filled with love before the message comes. Because if you don't follow this procedure properly, if you don't do the right thing and then uh, embed this love in the bosom of the prison yard, there will be this friction there will be this division between the inmates and the prison warders. And the prison warders are not properly trained. Most of them are not properly trained. So what we do is we bring that training indirectly by showing love. Then they will understand that the people that they are there to guide are human beings. They are not animals. In so doing, there will be a little bit of understanding in the way they treat each other. And the prisoners, on the other hand, will not be thinking about jailbreak. They will not be thinking about destroying or fighting or killing a prison warder. You see, we are doing a lot of work. It's just that we are not appreciated in Nigeria. We're not appreciated by the citizens or by the government. But you know what? I'm not here to be appreciated, actually. I'm here to do the will of my father while it is there. When night comes, I won't be able to do it again. As long as my father in heaven is happy with me and is pleased with my investment on earth, I am settled. When I get to heaven, I will enjoy my wealth. God bless you as you watch this video and make sure you share it. So your no, husband? My husband used to work in the prison. prison. Okay. He was in the army and that's his career when he came out. Wow. And he had thoroughly enjoyed it because he got on well with the prisoners. With the prisoners. Yes, the half, yeah. How do we cut down in crime well, it's among about, the youth? It's about supporting schools. people, going into schools and going starting schools. starting at the schools, yeah, and educating people and, okay. and supporting those people that might already be and in what crime a bit and more. Parenting. Parenting. Yeah. parenting. You, when you look at it, a lot of children are having children wow. and they're not equipped to be parents to those wow. children. Wow. Yeah. Especially That's if they haven't been mothered or nurtured themselves. Mm. They don't know how to, so they need educating on that. They need that. Yeah. Thank and, you so much for your time. It's about time supporting those people that are already in the midst of crime to be able to find a way out and not just discriminating, discriminating them and thinking them. they are institutionalised. Let's just put them back in prison oh. because that's what they need. It's not what they need. They need outreach. No. They need empathy. They need understanding. They need education. They need help. Sir, what do you think about these prison conditions in Africa? Please. It looks pretty, pretty horrendous. Um, it's pretty, pretty saddening to see. I think. Yes, sir. Um, you know, I don't think anyone deserves to be treated that way. So. At all. What, what do you think about this condition? It's what, quite shocking. It's shocking. It's very shocking. You know, uh, I come from Asia. In the developing countries, we know that prisoner um, conditions are not good. But to see these pictures, it's the worst I've ever seen. So it is very shocking for me. I don't really have much information. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at it right now. Mm. It looks very sad. Sad. You know, um, from, oh, God. I'm seeing more stuff now. <laughs> it looks like people are being suffocated in one place. Yeah. Like squashing one environment. And yeah. That is not nice. Uh, yes, I think uh, you need to invest money to the prison, to the people yeah. who works there, uh, build some, some places they can study. Um, Inside the prison. Yes, or work. Yeah. Like work and I think here you can work and they give you some money, money. so you can buy things for mm. in the prison. So I think the economic is very important. Very, very important. Yeah. What you should advise African government, please? I think sort of viewing prison as a means of reform rather than a form of punishment. Yes, sir. Um, and giving people a chance to better themselves. Yes, sir. Rather than just, yeah, punishing them. So mm. I say reform in the prison system be 
help sort of reform and better people rather than punish them for what they've done. Thank you. My main advice. Thank you so much. Educate them more, mm. but also the parents are very important because if they do something, of course the children will do the same thing. Exactly. So the upbringing is very important. Yes. The parents need to put more work, spend more time in, in their children than working 24 hours making money. Yes. Why do we have so many young young people committing crime these days? I don't know. It's uh, I don't know. I think it's the politicians. Uh, the politicians' yes, fault, yes. yeah? They don't care about the youth, is that what you're yeah, saying? they're building like the bad society and they're building it bigger. Oh, wow, wow. And then, um, okay, you say you have been involved in crime, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for trial now. Waiting for trial. Yeah. What did you do? There are so many black people inside the prison in London, and there are so many youth inside the prisons. So I'm wondering what could be the cause, ma'am. Do you have any anything you could think that is the cause, ma'am? Don't really know. I have no time to think about it. Are you on the top your head? Um, I think the current social economic system doesn't support young people very well. Young people don't have spaces to be without needing to spend money or have an agenda to be there. Typically you find that ethnic groups tend to come from more deprived areas due to housing situation, due to funding, due to the government's attention and concern. Uh, they can go under the radar in education, they can often be categorized as disruptive or difficult and that then further isolates them, feels like their prospects are much more limited, can turn them to avenues of crime that feel a bit more fulfilling, there can be a sense of community sometimes, um, and without the right support for young people, they'll slip under the cracks, wow. potentially, and find themselves in hard situations. Wow, wow. Is there anything, ma'am, is there anything we can do to mitigate the crime among the youth? I mean, what can society do better, please? Um, I think drawing off what you said, like just spaces for young people to go with supportive adults who can meet them on their level and encourage them to engage with the uh, hobbies, who can get assistance in terms of financials, in terms of education, mm. anything that keeps people engaged and supports them for, for what they would like. Mm. Mm. Okay. You beat somebody up, yeah. isn't it? Okay, that wouldn't be much crime. Did the person die? Nobody died, right? No, nobody died. No, nobody died. I believe... Huh? One, one and a half years in prison. One and a half years. I'm sure after eight months they're going to let yeah. you go home. So that's not a problem. You're not, you're not, you're not going to do that again, will no, you? I'm so glad because, you, you know, um, prison changed people a lot. I'm inside the prison. My life has changed completely. And I'm not going to regret that I went to prison in Sweden. If you look at the African prison system, it's terrible. Look at the condition. Look at how people are sleeping. But here, the, the prison is very different. So I'm glad that you have changed, and I believe you're not going to commit any crime no, anymore. No, it's a mistake. You know? It's a mistake. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I'm going to be praying for you as well. You're not going to be there more than six months. They're going to bring you out. Once you go there, you make yourself a better yeah. boy, and you change, and you see everything will be okay with you, okay? Thank you, thank What's your name again? Leon, Leon. Leon, okay. Nice meeting you, nice yeah? Meeting nice meeting you, you Leon. Think about the youth committing crime these days. I think it's a bad thing. Uh, but yeah. Unfortunately, some people don't have any choice. Okay. They don't have any money. They have to bring in money for the family. Okay. And for them, the only choice is to send drugs or oh. do bad things to get money easily. Oh. Oh. Oh, because they, they have no money, that's why they are committing crime. So most of the crime is economical crime. Okay, but have you been involved in any crime at all? Please don't. Please don't. It doesn't help anybody. Even violent crime, it doesn't help anybody at all. And how old are you? I'm 17. 17. Soon 19. Soon 19, okay. Are you a boy? Do you know who Jesus is? Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a believer. You believe? Oh my God! This makes me so happy. Now I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna give you my contact, and we're gonna keep in touch as well. My name is Evangelist Peace and Chukuka, and I want to help you in a way I can. Look at this now. This is my uh, my flyer here, and my number is there. Uh, this this UK line. You can always I in London. I stay in London. Yeah. This is my UK line. This is my Nigeria line as well. So anytime you wanna talk to me, please feel free to do so. Send me a WhatsApp so I can have your number. I'm glad that you increased it. So we can make you stronger. So we can help you to become stronger. Okay. 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 I'm here with one of the officer, and here in London, I just wanted to ask you a question, please. What do you think is the reason of the crime increase in London? No behavior. No behavior. No home training. Outside world, 
Wow. Just before you leave, what? Um, who you affiliated with? Mm, who you affiliated with? Very important one, yeah. yeah? Um, Money hungry, I believe that too. Yeah. Okay, um, the police officer gave me some good tips. You know, <laughs> obviously, behavior matters a lot. Behavior matters a lot, you know, and home bringing, upbringing, the family unity, and all that, it matters a lot. So one of the reasons why we have so much crime on the street is because of this few things that police girl, police lady just mentioned here. Sure maybe like, education or yeah, maybe. upbringing. Yeah, absolutely, and here in Sweden we have a lot of like poorer communities, yeah, and yeah. where crime is uh, a lot high. more. Yeah, exactly. Like in Rinkeby. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. Tensta, exactly. Mm. Mm. Um, from, you know, development aid to just providing support. Mm. Yeah. Providing support and all that. That's so, do you know why the crime is is very high among the youth? Do you well, know why? Uh, yeah, he touched on the point, but it's basically uh, a lot of people here, first of all, uh, they're neglected by uh, their parents. But mm. They don't have enough uh, financial uh, stability in the house to, to give them that, that foundation in which they, yes, they need. Yes. Yeah. So if there is a job, the crime will reduce, right? Yes. If there are some activities, yes. like sports activities, yes. without discrimination, yes. everybody yes. have right to go we'll to take the, the, the mind of the child off. Uh, Wow. Um, I agree with Karam. I feel like um, financial stability uh, is a big issue because if their parents don't control them, if their parents don't show them what to do or guide them, mm. um, it would be hard for them to know uh, mm. to know what is good or bad. Yeah. And they'll be involved in crimes basically. I think people search for the uh, means for people that Yeah, they, they want some relationship, like kind of... Um, like a family, a family, second family. Uh, if they feel like they're neglected by their... They want their, to be accepted. Yes, they want yeah? to be accepted and feel oh. welcomed by society. Mm. And that's their way to cope and feel that sense of acceptance. Belonging, yeah, belonging. sense of belonging. Exactly. <laughs> Like I, I haven't done any research, but my uh, like opinion of it is certain only certain skills are appreciated by the society. For example, let's say a person who does uh, I don't know, any like uh, let's say beatboxing mm. is not as appreciated as, as a person who's like good in maths. No. So like maybe we appreciate certain people than others. So the people who are not being appreciated feel neglected. Yeah. So they want uh, they, they want, want to be recognized. Yeah, they want recognition yeah. from other people. So they go into this kind. Of, I think they're going to but yeah. Oh. And I don't know, have you ever feel like you're worried going out? Like you're a little bit here and I afraid of going out because of trouble outside. Okay, you have the confidence, yeah. No, mostly because uh, like I'm just like out with a whole group of guys. So it's like that sense Okay, of you're scary. always in a group of guys, yeah? yeah? What's your name, please? Uh, Carson. 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 Okay, from uh, uh, the United States. In America, we have so many crime going on with the youth, right? Yeah. Do, can you tell me why the crime is so high in America? I mean, can you tell me, please? Much like my friend, uh, I don't know any pure facts. I haven't done a lot of research. I don't have, you know, scientific anything, any numbers or anything. But going off my worldly knowledge that I possess right now, I think the biggest part, you know, that contributes to crime is neglection, you know, by family, by society, by you know, people who outcast them based on race, based on being shy, like you said, yeah. based on different external factors. Mm. And when people are neglected, you know, they feel like they don't have a purpose. They feel like the odds are against them. They feel like people don't care about them. And when they have no purpose and they possess no hope and, and faith, then they tend to turn to things that they don't really care about. They don't think about mm. what they're doing as much because they don't care. Because if, if people don't care about them, then why should they care about other people, right? Yes. Mm? Don't carry knives and go Please don't do that because that's not good, yeah? Just have a trust in yourself. I'm sure that you're a big boy and you're strong enough to be able to handle the matter. But you know, we have to always avoid trouble. Very important, yeah? So now I'm going to do some prayer with you guys and I'm going to give you guys also my documents and my numbers and everything so we can be able to get to know each other better, yeah? Say your well, husband. My husband used to work in Bernal's prison. Okay. He was in the army and that's his career when he came out. Wow. And he and thoroughly enjoyed it because he got on well with the prisoners. With the prisoners. Yes, the half, yeah. 
But, so, but you, you know, I found out that in UK you have a rehabilitation system in prison. Yeah. You help them to become better. That's right. But in Africa, it's more of like destroying them inside the prison. Yeah. So what do we do to change the narrative, ma'am? Mm. I, I don't really know because I don't know a lot about the prisons. In Africa. Although um, my husband worked in there, mm. but he, he would be the one to, to answer. talk to. I wish I would get to meet him, but I, I'm going to give you my flyer. And then um, uh, my number is there. If he has time, uh, to just, give you uh, a, yeah, a, to give me a quick and check one of that. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's my flyer there. Nice. My numbers is totally back here. You see my number at the back of it. That's my numbers there. UK line, oh. and my Nigerian line. So and uh, this one here is the prisons. How it looks oh, like good. in Africa. Yeah. Let him give me a call so we can talk and see I, how I we can get African yes, prisons. Yes, I will. I'll so glad. What's your name again, man? My name's Ivy Pearson. Ivy Pearson. Pearson yeah. Nice talking to you, man. I'm Thank here. you for your time, man. I'm Even here. though it's so cold. And Thank I'm, you. Yeah, and I'm glad you're, yeah. you're on the straight and yes, narrow. Ma'am. Now. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. man. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you, man. Bye, 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 bye. What should I advise African government, please? I think sort of viewing prison as a means of reform rather than a form of punishment. Yes, sir. Um, and giving people a chance to better themselves. Yes, sir. Rather than just, yeah, punishing them. So mm. I say reforming the prison si system to help sort of reform and better people rather yeah. than punish them for what they've done. Thank That's you. That would be my main advice. Thank you so much.